Hi, Lily. Hello. Nice to see you, Lily. Nice to see you too. Tell me, who does your hair? Who did your hair today? Mom. Oh, it looks very nice. It's different. Usually you tie your hair back. Yes. Today it looks a little different. Nice. How was your day today at school? Friday? Good. Why? What did you what did you do that was that made it a good day? Anything interesting? Anything fun? Ah, tell me about Wednesday. Wednesday you didn't go to school. Mm. What happened on Wednesday? There was a voting. There was voting. But can you vote? No. How? Yes. You can vote? I think maybe yes. I think maybe you should be 18 years or older to vote. No. What did you vote? Uh, on Wednesday, Mr. Uh, got on, uh, the boys went to meet in some kiss cafe and then they went to a park and then they was like voting and then they did. Not the persons, like who do you want to vote? Okay. Like what? What about you? Did you vote? No. Why not? Because I didn't do. So what did you do on Wednesday? There was no school. Did you? Nothing. Did you stay at home? Did you go out? I stayed at home. Stayed at home. How is your new house? How is the new apartment? Are you are you used to it now? Yes. Mm. Lily, in South Africa, the weather is getting really really cold. It's still very beautiful. It's, the sun is shining and it's beautiful, but it's getting very cold. So I've started wearing long sleeves. How is Korea's weather? Warm. Can you make a sentence? It is warm it in is, Korea. It is warm. All right, Lily, <clears throat> let's start today's class. Are you ready? Yes. Today we are going to talk about natural disasters. I'm going to show you two natural disasters. Lily, what is a natural disaster? Natural disaster is a disaster in natural. A disaster that happens in nature. Yes. Such as? Such as earthquake. Earthquake is a natural disaster. Volcanoes are natural disaster. Flooding. Typhoons. Big storms, things that humans cannot control. Can you say for me, natural disasters are things that humans cannot control. Natural disasters are hu things that humans cannot control. We are going to first look at a volcano and then we will look at an earthquake. So the volcano is happening it's erupting in Iceland. If I show you a map, can you find where is Iceland on the map? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Oh. Lily, you have blue hair. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I like your avatar, by the way. Lily, here is the map with South Korea. Where, which continent is South Korea in? Asia. Very good. So, if we go to the left of Asia, which continent is to the left of Asia? Uh. It has France and Germany and, and Spain. 
Europe. That is Europe. Now, if we zoom into Europe, there is a country here. It's surrounded by water. So it's an island. There is Iceland. Can you say for me, Iceland is a country in Europe. Iceland is a country in Europe. Oh, Lily, because we went to Iceland, your hair changed to white. Yeah. Because it's snowy and cold in Iceland, now your hair is like snow. Yes. What do you think is happening in Iceland? Do you think it's warm weather or cold weather? Cold weather. Okay. Why do you think Iceland has cold weather? Because it's Iceland. Okay. Um, the reason why Iceland is cold, there is Iceland here. Lily, what happened? You changed to a... What animal is this? Rabbit. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say mouse. <laughs> is that, that's the fox. All right, Lily, choose one. Let's see which one do you choose and then we will continue. This. This one. Can you say, I will choose this fox? I will choose this box. Alright, Lily, if we look at Earth and we draw the equator, an equator is a line that goes through the middle of the Earth there, cuts the Earth in half. This is called the equator. Can you say for me? The equator is an imaginary line. Equator is an imaginary line. Lily, along the equator is the hottest areas on Earth. If we move away from the equator towards the North Pole or towards the South Pole, it will become more cold as we move away from the equator. So you can see Iceland is very far from the equator. And for that reason, it is a very cold area. Right, Lily, can you tell me why is Iceland a cold area? Because it is far from equator. And equator, equator is an imaginary line. And it, when the countries are nearby the equator, it is warmer. Very nice. Lily, Look at the continents around the equator and what do you notice? Let's look at Africa. What do you notice about the color of Africa around the equator? Green. It's green. So that means there's more vegetation, more forests, more trees. All right. So <clears throat> let's go to see this uh, volcano. Lily, what happened to this volcano? Is it dormant or is it erupting? It's erupting. Why is that a dangerous thing for people that live in Iceland? Because it is really, really hot. Okay, so the lava is flowing and the lava can destroy anything in its path. Uh -huh. Lily, there is a famous pool in Iceland. It is a very warm pool. It is called the Blue Lagoon. It is very healthy water, very, very healthy for your skin. Have you, have you been to such a, it's called a geothermal spa. It's natural water from underground that is warm. Have you, have you been to a geothermal spa? No. I have not been to a ge geothermal spa. 
I've never been to a geothermal spa. Lily, what is a geothermal spa? Geothermal spa is a natural water from underground and then they made a spa. Yeah, and it's warm water and it has lots of minerals. So that's why it's healthy for your skin. You can see these people here, they are applying it like a mask. Did you ever put a face mask? Yes. Why? Why, why do you put a face mask on your face? To uh, keep our skin healthy. Yeah, yeah. It's beneficial to our skin. So that's exactly what they're doing. They're taking some of the salt, some of the minerals and applying it to the skin. Lily, how can this be? We saw that it's Iceland is so far from the equator. How can they have warm water from underground there? Uh, by the volcano? Exactly. Because underground there is lava. It's hot underground. And the water is near the lava, so it is hot. Right, Lily, do you have your thinking cap on? Yes. Because now it's going to get a little bit more difficult. But you are a smart student, so I think you can understand. Oh, Lily, it looks like you are sleeping. Your, av no. your avatar is sleeping. Like this? No, the eyes were closed. Like this? Yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Lily, long time ago, the people in Iceland, they had to dig holes to find hot water. Can you read for me? They're cold to find hot water underground. But they are not using shovels. They are using giant machines to dig holes and find hot water. As soon as they found hot water, Lily, that hot water cannot go to the lagoon. Why do you think it cannot go to the lagoon yet? Because it's not that it's too hot. It has too much energy. The water is too hot. So the first thing that they do the hot water is used to generate electricity. Can you read number one for me? The hot water is used to generate electricity. So that means they have a power station and they take the water from underground and they use it to generate electricity. Lily, after the water has been used to generate electricity, do you think it's hotter or cooler? Oh. Cooler. Yes, it, it, it was used to generate electricity, so now the temperature is lower, but Lily, the temperature is still too hot to go to the lagoon. It's still too hot. People will get burned if it goes there. So what did Iceland do? They send the this hot water, and let's not call it hot water, now it's it's warm water they use this warm water for heating they send it to the homes in pipes and they use it for heating then the water is used for heating lily what do you use for heating in your home 
In winter time, what do you use for cooking. heating? Cooking. Say again. Cooking. <clears throat> Lily, your English is much better than one word. Let's try make a sentence. Let's try so I can understand what do you mean by cooking. Cooking, like cooking with a frying pan, like there's a... Okay, okay, so that, that's cook, that cooking, yes, you are using heat, you are right. But you are not using it to, to keep your body warm. Heating is talking about how do you keep your body warm. So for example, in my apartment, I will use an electric heater. For heating. Lily, can I ask you to can I ask you to switch off the avatar? I cannot see, I don't understand what your expression is. The the avatar doesn't show the expressions. So I cannot understand. There we go. That's better. Then I can see you better. <coughs> Okay, so our sentences disappeared. Let's rewrite our sentences. First, Lily, when the water is taken from underground, what is it used for? It is used for... What? what? It is used to generate electricity. Okay. The hot water is used to generate electricity. Can you read that for me, Lily? The hot water is used to generate electricity. After they generate electricity, the water is sent to the homes for heating. Is then used for heating. After the heating, then the temperature is low enough so it doesn't burn people and it can be used in the lagoon. Finally, the water flows to the lagoon. Right, Lily, can you tell me, from digging a hole, how does the water go to the lagoon? The hotter, hot water is used to generate electricity. All right, so that is, that is the first thing that they do when they take the water out of the ground. But how does it end up at the lagoon where they can swim? How does it get to the lagoon? Oh. Because it's still too hot after they generate electricity. Yes. Okay. Lily? <clears throat> Lily, yes and no. We, we have a new rule in my class. We cannot say yes and no. There is no yes and no answers in this class. Can you say for me? There are no yes and no Why? answers in this class. There, oh, there are no yes and no answers in this class. Why do you think that is? Why are we not allowing yes and no answers? Because it's too short, maybe? That's exactly right. It's too short. We want to hear a sentence. Okay, so Lily... <clears throat> This volcano, uh, the, the, the Blue Lagoon, do you think people are still visiting this geothermal spa now? Do you think it's yes. open? Yes. So it is not open. They closed the Blue Lagoon because of the volcano. Because you saw, did you see the lava coming out of the volcano? Yes. This was last week. 
And, and it's still coming out of the volcano. The lava is flowing. Where do you think the lava will go? The lava will go to the lagoon. It will, yeah, it will go to the lagoon. It will travel everywhere. It will go to the roads. It will go to the houses. And it will destroy everything in its path. So they closed the lagoon. The lagoon is closed until the volcano stops. The next natural disaster, what did we say it was going to be? What was the second natural disaster? Earthquake. The earthquake. There was an earthquake last week in Taiwan. Taiwan. Lily, have you traveled to Taiwan? You've traveled to many countries. No. No. I've never been. And if I show you a map, can you find where is Taiwan on the map? It's in Taiwan. So there is South Korea. There is Japan. China. Just off of China's coast. There is Taiwan. What's the capital city of Taiwan? Taipei. Good. Taipei is the capital city of Taiwan. Lily, there was an earthquake in Taiwan. What kind of damages can an earthquake cause to a building? The building will... Did you did you say fall? Yes. Yes, the building can fall, so we say collapse. The building can collapse. The building can collapse. All right, and then there is also another dangerous thing that can happen when there is an earthquake is on a mountain. If there is a slope and there is an earthquake, some of those rocks or some of the land can slide down, down the mountain. So that is called a landslide. So can you say for me, buildings can collapse and there can be landslides. Building can collapse and the land can... There can be landslides. They can, they can be landslides. All right, so let's have a look at some of these photos. This is, uh, this is from after the earthquake. What do you see in this photo? What happened? The building collapsed. The building collapsed, but it didn't fully collapse. It now looks like... Almost collapsed. It looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Do you know the Leaning Tower? Yes. So now, this cannot stay like this. They need to fully collapse the building. And then they can clear it. It's too dangerous to stay like this. Even you cannot go inside. The doors are collapsed. So. Here they have built some tents. Why are they putting tents at the schools? To be safe. To be safe and you can see some of, no school. some of the some of the apartments have collapsed so people have nowhere to go nowhere to stay safe so they can go that to the apartment the... say again that's apartment it could be an apartment it could be office buildings it could be anything inside right Lily, here is another building what happened to this building as is collapsed, almost collapsed. Because of the earthquake. Now, if we go to the capital city, this is Taipei. And the name of this building is Taipei 101. It's half a kilometer long. This is 500 meters high. Lily, this building during the earthquake it had zero damage 
-hmm. How can that be? Because they built it safely. Very good. The engineers, they designed it safely. They designed it to be very safe to withstand an earthquake. Can you say for me, the engineers designed the building to withstand earthquakes? Engineer designed safely to withstand earthquakes. To withstand the earthquakes. To withstand the earthquakes. To withstand the earthquakes. All right, so Lily, the question is how? How did they design it to withstand the earthquake? Do you have any idea what can make this building more safe if the ground is shaking? How would you how would you design a building? Let's let's build a little build it slowly. Say again? I don't know. Did you say build it slowly? All right. So Lily, I will show you how they how they keep the building safe after our break. We will discuss how they design it so safe. And then we will do a nice review. Lily, do you have any questions for me before we go to break? No. Oh. Lily, I want you to try and think of some questions that you can ask me and okay. we, you will ask them in the in the second half i will see you again at 10 o'clock lily okay bye bye bye, -bye.